did everything. All right, guys, we are back in HTML uh, on uh, solo learning, doing something called challenges. Uh, let's see what this is all about. It's got challenge one is with 100 and with 100% the same. To be honest, I don't know this, but I'm going to say no because uh, I believe this inherits pixels, which seems to be the case. All right, fill in the blanks to create an H1 heading containing the text my first website followed by an h2 tag containing a sample page so we're going to have a oops, an h1 opening tag and an h1 closing tag and the same thing here with h2 and h2 fill in the blanks to make a paragraph bold using the b tag so we uh we need our open paragraph tag we also need our opening b tag and our slash b and then our b slash no, excuse me, slash B. I don't know what I'm saying here. Let's go ahead and do that. Cool. Uh, during the page creation, which tag adds a page and it'll show in the title bar of the user. So that would be the title. Remember that sets the uh, name of the page. And fill in the blanks to make the first paragraph a comment. So if we want to do that, it would be um, caret exclamation point dash dash then dash dash caret to end the comment. Cool. Uh, fill blanks display the the image tree. So remember, we have to use the image tag and the location of it using the source or SRC, and then we want to give it a height. Oh, okay, I already gave it a height. Excuse me, a width of 500 pixels. And then fill blanks to create an, an ordered list. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish this H4 statement and forget. Uh, don't forget the ordered list starts with the OL and ends with a closing OL tag. Oops, excuse me. This is the closing li tag here. And then this is the closing ol. And finally, fill in the blanks and align the table to the center. So first off, let's go ahead and close our head tag. And then we want to table and we want to set the align equal to center. And then here we have a closing ul by the looks of it. And then we have a closing table tag. Oops, excuse me, forgot the slash. And then here we have a closing body tag as well. Cool. And then finally, fill in the blanks of the website solo.learn.com opens upon clicking the image. So uh, we have href, and this is equal to solo www.solo.learn.com. And the Oh, and then of course the closing backs. Ooh, they already put the backslash in there. Excuse me. So we need the uh, caret, and then we go ahead and close the anchor tag as well. Nice. So that was the challenges. Singular. Uh, maybe we'll add more in the future, but uh, moving forward, do the HTML5, and then we're all done with this. The HTML5 section looks pretty big. Um, covers a lot of stuff and this is where I think uh, I'll slow down a little bit for me because I, I think I'll be able to absorb a lot of things that I, perhaps I skipped over in the future or in the past rather but as always guys um, don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and a special thanks to you supporting me on patreon look forward to our weekly interviews with developers every Friday or those in so the software industry talking about a little bit of everything thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time hey guys thanks for watching the video if you're interested in coding bootcamp check out devmountain.com where housing is included in your price of tuition and don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and support me on patreon i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching